<laughs> was. It was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, just grab a nug and eat it real quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's like back in the day, you'd have to like eat your whole bag, and now you just have to eat enough that it's not over an ounce. One time I fucking sold my looks not out. One time I sold my whole girl an ounce, right? And she's a good friend of mine. She's the girlfriend of my best friend for a long time, and they were dating at the time. So I made it like thirty three instead of twenty eight to hook her up. Yeah, and then she got arrested, pulled over, and I was in the car too. I had twenties anti bars on me. And I was in the back seat, and I just like as soon as the lights flicked, I just fucking shoved them in the, shoved them in the like behind, like in the back seat, and as far down as I could, and I just prayed that they wouldn't find them. This is and, the second hiding drugs in a vehicle when police were around story you've told oh, on this podcast. Both this both times were pills. Won't be the last, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah, dude. So like I and. The cops came, they searched us, and they found her, like, her weed. They found, they searched the whole car, but they didn't find the Xanax, so they let me and her brother go. It was the three of us in the car. And he was driving, and he was young and dumb, and we told him, like, play it cool, but he couldn't, and the guy pulled. And it was the narcotics unit. Because the cop got behind him, and he was just like... Yeah, yeah, and then like, but and then when he was talking to the cop, he just sounded like a goddamn idiot. What like, was their I, excuse for pulling you over? I don't even remember, to be honest. Like, I mean, like, I was selling Zanny. So your headlight looks bluffs. like it might have been out. No, it wasn't in the bluffs. What? It's like your headlight looked like it was about to yeah, go out. Some, it was something stupid like that. Tail can, light. You swerved just a bit. Yeah. They didn't find the bars, man. Uh, I, I retrieved them all. Nice. Uh, and then late, slid the car in go four and a half pound? weeks. Or did they let you go in the car? They let us go in the car. All right, Dope. this gets fucked up, actually. Like, they let <laughs> us go in the car... So you got a pretty mouth boy. <laughs> okay, so when we were pulled over, when we were pulled over and they found the bag of weed, you know, they put her under arrest and started asking her questions like, "Where do you live?" and she told him, like gave him the address and and we were on our way to her house where her boyfriend was, like it was my, like one of my best friends at the time. And so then then so we're getting dealt with on the road by the cops and we get let go her brother and i and we drive to their house and when we pull on the street we see flashing lights uh Jesus, and over like an four, ounce of weed yeah over it was just a it, yep and uh there was four cop cars and they were arresting my friend they went and knocked on the door and he opened it up and they like a blunt in his mouth <laughs> no, they saw they saw the bong on the uh, table. Bongs will get and bongs six, are responsible for a lot of arrests. Here's the fucked up part: in sixteen zannies, oof, on, that I table? that I had left there, oh. that I was going back to get, and he got charged with them, dude. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, I felt so bad. Like, How I much mean, more I, time did he get? Well, I mean, I I don't even remember. Like, he definitely got arrested and he got bailed out. But I don't I don't remember actually what happened with this case. I feel like it wasn't as bad. Oh, sorry. I've just been holding that. I didn't even hit it really. Uh I you feel can. like I feel <laughs> no, it's cool. I feel like somehow he got off like some pretty harsh charges cuz like come to think of it, like I don't remember him ever having to go do jail time for that. Yeah. I don't know what happened. But um like, I never talked to that fucking dude again. <laughs> Somebody I, I, went to jail. Honestly, I didn't talk to him <laughs> for a while. And the next day, I just, like, I had an ounce of weed in my house and a scale. And I was so paranoid that I walked up the street to my friend's house and just gave it to him. He sold weed, too. So I just gave him my scale and all my weed. I didn't ask for any money. I was just so paranoid. But, like, yeah. And then they never found those those zannies. But, anyway, the whole point of that was that I hooked her up because she was my friend, gave her over an ounce, and then she got a felony instead of a misdemeanor because I fucking, you know. Jesus. You know, usually you give your friends, like, if they're driving, like, 27.5. So, it's, like, just a misdemeanor if they get caught. All right. Uh, that backfired. <laughs> Sorry. That was rambling. That was a good story. I just I can't I never believe that. Think of these things until we start. It's the beauty of podcasts. Yeah, just, yeah. I never think about that. It's just shit. crazy how intense they go over weed. I know. It's well, in Georgia, like, yeah, especially. I get it for sure. Here, I think. Do you think they'd be more? They'd be a lot more lenient here. I, I imagine. Even ten years ago. Yeah, they're just trying to get you for D dubs now. They want right. to get you driving under influence right. of marijuana. Yeah, 
that's, so that's what they're going to try to get you on now. Right on. It's not the ounce of weed that you have. It's the blunt you have in your mouth. Right. That's what they'll... That's, That's why what I they're after. Joints. That's why I smoke joints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, joints are so stinky. I know. Your whole whole car reeks for days after a joint. Yes. And you forget how stinky it is to people who don't smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, dude. It reeks. Yeah, was, yeah. I used to smoke in my mom's car, like, and thinking she wouldn't notice. <laughs> she just got so pissed at me. Like, I could tell because she would not talk to me in the morning when I walked into the kitchen. She was like, if if I had used her car the night before and she'd been in it, see uh, that it just I was so stupid. I mean, it was so dumb. <laughs> so you didn't live near like a lot of open country area, or did you? Like you or not really you in, like a city no. situation. Well, um, Marietta is like, well, my parents live in Kennesaw, and I lived in Marietta and was born there. Marietta is more of like a mini Atlanta. Like uh-huh. that's more city, city like. Right. Like you take, I like when I lived there. Like I took buses everywhere and and shit like that. So that's why you smoked weed in your mom's car, opposed to like. But when I was out of the when I was smoke. before, yeah. Well, when before I was um, when I was living there and driving her car it was when I was a lot younger too. And so uh, you have to drive everywhere where she lives. So yeah, I mean we couldn't smoke in our houses. None of us were allowed to smoke in our houses, so we would. And it's not like we even had to smoke in the car. It's just everywhere we went, we were just we were just Smoking chiefing, yeah. and yeah, we were just chiefing. But we were like you know, like I was so dumb to think like because we put down the windows, we opened the sun the sunroof, and I, I thought it'd be you know, fine. <laughs> That's good dog. Yeah, we're good. So good. <laughs> and then, well, there was actually multiple times where we'd straight up just hot box it with like multiple blunts uh-huh. while driving down the road. That like, was the coolest thing ever. So hot box. How stupid! Like, yeah. no, dude. But I, did you die? No, I wasn't worried about <laughs> dying. I'm worried about getting arrested. I can't dude. believe yeah, that I was mean, dumb. Like we got so lucky on that front. Like when we were young, every same, time we got in the car same. with a full packed ball, just like here we go. Yeah, you, know? you never had a problem. Yeah, no. We. I always did. I was always paranoid to break the law. Yeah. Always, oh, see, I wish I would have been break oh, yeah. the law and not get pulled over. So, I I drove like a fucking champ. Yeah. Oh, exactly. And never got pulled over. Well, yeah. That's key. But yeah, we, it, like oh, we're going to Walmart, pack a bowl. Yeah, exactly. Just like everywhere we went, we finish had it on the parking weed. lot. Yeah. Roll up the windows, go inside Walmart. Like <laughs> weed. Yeah. We got away with a lot. I feel like collectively here. <laughs> oh, for sure, <laughs> for sure, oh, for oh, sure. Man. I'm, I'm grateful because now I'm, I don't do any of that shit, dude. I don't smoke and drive anywhere no. now. I, I never. Don't. Usually, yeah. Well, you drive a if lot. I do. For it's your, in the house for your job, right? Usually, he never smokes and drives when he's. No, not in a company vehicle for sure. Oh no, I know no. that. No, but if I'm going to the ranch or something, I might have a little weed before I leave. <laughs> yeah. Smoke, then drive. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Or a, a friend's party out in the country. It's, it's far away. It's very far away. You, you smoke in your in your car there because you don't want everybody. Bogart and weed. Bogart and weed. There's fucking Bogartners. Yeah, but that doesn't happen. You move, Most people, most everybody has weed now. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not really like a thing that you got to keep away from everybody. Uh, yeah. Like there's Back like, in the day when you had to, you were fifty dollars an eighth, and that eighth was supposed to last you a whole week. Yeah, like motherfucking vultures. Yeah, <laughs> like no, 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 we didn't pack Shit, this bowl man. for you. Yeah, and now that we have the ability to fucking grow six plants legally, like I, man, there's plenty of weed. We're to, so like, lucky. Give some to your friends to fucking just get people high. Like <laughs> anybody that's hurting financially, just like I brought you a little bag of weed just to cheer you. <laughs> yeah, up. dude, you exactly. Know? That's spreading real love, man. That it's is like, spreading. It's love. like taking zucchinis over. Like I got twenty tomatoes and three zucchinis. You want this? Like, yeah. it's food. You know, absolutely. I feel and the same way about weed. I'm like, yeah. here, just have some weed. Now when people awesome. disappear at a party, it's cocaine. Yep, for sure. that. No, people smoke in the middle of the party. Hey, what are you guys doing? They're doing cocaine. Yeah. And the, <laughs> hey, yeah. where are you going, man? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. We're going to go smoke weed. Fuck. Fuck off. Can dude. I come? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck that. We're going to go blow each other. 
Let's, can I come? That's the answer we should go with from now on. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're going to go blow each other. Because <laughs> then they won't want to come, hopefully. Because <laughs> when it's weed, you're kind of like, yeah, that's sure, great. man. But when, right. you're like, we're going to go blow each other. It's like, no, dude, we're in love. You can't come. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have dude, a podcast together, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. We do everything together. This is my soul, brother. My soulmate. Yeah, that's definitely our new answer. We're gonna go blow each other. Like, this is my soulmate. We're gonna go blow each other real Walk quick. Off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's knew, hilarious. Quill's like knew it was gonna happen at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like anybody know those gay dudes that just walked outside? Yep. Yeah, yeah definitely. Line, but then you just do lines off each your other's dicks. dicks. Yeah. That's not gay. No, look, got my hat backwards. I'm that's ready. Just, that's just the place to do cocaine. <laughs> it's just a table. It's just cleaner than the counter at the ranch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I use my phone. <laughs> Why look, not? One of my friends For broke sure. his screen trying to break a coke rack on his phone. I've thought about that multiple times. Yeah. Like, it made me laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you're a it's dick. Like, now you're going to snort glass. <laughs> yeah. And you can't do it anymore. No, like you no, ruined the cocaine's gone. You, you broke the well, no. phone and the cocaine. I mean, for good though. Oh, like yeah. you, until you get your screen no, fixed, you, you lost can't... your cutting board. Yeah, you dog. lost your table. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, why. That's, funny. that's why you need a good friend with a big dick. <laughs> At least a medium dick. <laughs> yeah, I don't even do cocaine. <laughs> I don't either. I've never done it actually. But no, me neither. I just like. I've heard. Fill. I've see. I've seen lots of people do it. <laughs> I've definitely done Not cocaine. even in Vegas, Dave? I've never been to Vegas, <laughs> so no. That's where you do cocaine. That, What's Vegas? That's where people do cocaine. Never uh, been to Las Vegas, New Mexico? What's New <laughs> Mexico? It's wild. You don't want to take cocaine there. You'll get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll get baked. Walking around soda. with cocaine is... No, I'm saying don't take cocaine there. <laughs> to Las Vegas, New Mexico? Yeah. It's, oh. it's I'm like never going to go there G's, if I'm just, lucky. I plan to never go there at all. I'm even just assuming with it's like water. Farmington. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Real. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Give me the heebie-jeebies. R. Kelly. I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> talk shit on your own time. I apologize. That's why we left. <laughs> There's something That's about that like place to go back. that is so depressing. I'll go for like Best Buy. Dude, I thought everybody in the world was just bummed. <laughs> and then That's I laughed and I was, was. like... Oh my god There's happy people Yeah dude <laughs> There's hippies There's all what? kinds of fun stuff Yeah People get along at Walmart Like what is going Shit. on here I know I said something similar When I first moved to Durango actually Yeah Cause Durango's different than most places Like The people at Walmart are actually nice yeah. to you Durango You're Walmart You're in a good place <laughs> And Farmington Walmart are completely different I 100% believe people it People treat you at the Durango Walmart Like they do at the Farmington like Target you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> just like, just, I don't know. Better. I think even the Farmington Target, they're less friendly than our Walmart. Probably. I was I, trying that's to the only, That's one of the store, only places I've been in There is still a Kmart in Farmington. I drove by it. It's still a Kmart. <laughs> Damn, we it sold says so much Kmart. Oh and there was gosh. people in the it parking lot. It says Kmart. And there was people in the parking lot. Do they still sell slushies and hot dogs? I don't dogs? know. I didn't go. But I bet. Oh. Dude, this, those slushies are dank. The Icy's. It's. The Hell best, yeah. the best slushies around. It's just so in, a cam- in, a, in your Kmart, yeah. In, in well, just oh. just those ices, yeah. <laughs> no, it has to come from Kmart. <laughs> well, I mean, where it. where is the location you pick it up? We never had those ices. They're like the red and blue dog. The right? dog with the yeah, hat. Yeah, had the dog in the hat. I don't know. Man. The little spinny thing. Maybe at like a gas station. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've had icy from gas stations. Is that all you're yeah. saying? Yeah, pretty just, much. Yeah, that's oh. all you're saying. <laughs> Those are good. I looked way too. <laughs> I was I was in Kmart and like, we were so I simple. was so fucked up. Well, at that Kmart, they sell ices. <laughs> is the point. So <laughs> that was the place to get the ices in Farmington. Oh, exactly. Wow. Yeah, you'd go to Kmart for a hot dog and an icy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe look at some that's porch how, furniture. That's just how you get your kids to shut up. That's how I go to Costco, Here. man, for a fucking hot dog. You guys got Costco? Mm. I think Farmington's about to get I was a I was like in Durango? <laughs> no, like, do I mean have you ever heard of it? Have you yeah, been to one? Definitely. Yeah, to one. Oh definitely yeah, they're great. Costco. They had the best hot dogs in the goddamn world. Really? We had Sam's yeah. we had Sam's Club pizza. We had that's, Sam's Club pizza that's too. That's where we would always go for lunch. We had Sam's Club, man. It was like two eighty five for a slice of pizza. Like when you're in high school, Cheap. that was, it was awesome. so yeah. big too. Yeah. It was enough to fill you up. Fuck yeah. Get a churro. Yeah. Mm. I do, I do we didn't have churro. those available. Not in Atlanta. No. Nope. Really? 
No churros. It's a bummer, man. Anywhere? No churros, no green churros. I never saw churros re- like as readily available Does until I moved out here. <laughs> Does Atlanta have a, like a sea world or something? Do we have an aquarium? The, I bet. No. The Atlanta Aquarium. Do they have churros? Why would the aquarium have churros? I don't know. Sea World is like the thing that comes up in my memories yeah, of childhood that's in where churros that's were in just San Diego, well, which is a like a mile from Mexico. I think there's a bunch of. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, we have a lot of Mexicans in Atlanta too, but not like San Diego. Yeah, I was young. I didn't realize. Yeah, the border. Was I don't. There. No, I'm pretty I didn't sure know there's... people were different yet. Dave. Yeah, I got you. No, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> They must have churros I everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the first churros time everywhere. I went to Canada with my grandma and grandpa. Did they have churros? No. Oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the I didn't go to the Sea World there. <laughs> I didn't know they had an aquarium. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have poutine in San Diego Sea World? <laughs> probably. Yeah, no, probably not. They uh, might. Anyway, what were you saying? You went Canada? to Canada. Oh, we went to Canada and we drove with a camper. It took like a month to get there and back. We just took our time, Shit. saw a bunch of family. That's it was, awesome. It was badass. Dude. Yeah, that's what's up. But we, uh, I didn't realize that other places. That's when I learned places didn't have green chili. <laughs> like you ask people for green chili and they look at you like you just said some like like you're speaking in spanish like, what They're the just like, fuck do you mean by that yeah throw a bunch of like bell peppers on something that you ordered yeah like, chili dude this is yeah a lot of my family in indiana just realized that new mexico was part of the state <sighs> they just thought you were <laughs> like seriously they just thought you lived in mexico they just thought like, you were <laughs> aunts and uncles okay they so when i was like immigrant. seven <laughs> so 97 so they were seeing like cartel stories and like oh my god our grandson <laughs> yeah this was like a I don't know, 97 to 2000s around yeah, there. What was going but, on in Mexico then? Uh, Were people still going down there to just party? Probably a little probably. bit. Probably. Yeah, Tijuana? For sure. Of course. Everything changed after 9-11. That's been happening for a long time. <laughs> really? It did. That's what yeah. that happened? 18 years ago today. For changed sure. forever. <laughs> you can't go that, to Mexico That's anymore. when you can't go to Mexico. Can't masturbate that's... on an airplane. I mean, shit. Can you believe that? Can't use a hair pick? Oh, yeah, but my uh, family in Indiana, they <laughs> they would always ask me, like, ask me in my mom and dad if we had to get a green card to come over to oh indiana my God. it's like no we live ignorant, in new mexico ignorant white people and my bro. grandpa i had this like little three-wheeler that i would ride <laughs> when i was there and my grandpa was getting alzheimer's and he would like run out of the house and be like hey get off that that's that little boy from mexico's bike <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa it's me oh my god yeah, he, dude. i was a little boy that from little mexico Mexican that, kids, boy. <laughs> like, i wasn't i wasn't even his grandson i was just so a little funny. mexican kid Wow. Because he just didn't know who I was. He just knew I was like like the little Mexican kid that... (laughs) I don't like the sound of that. (laughs) Yeah. It was his son that moved. I I voted against you being here. He was probably mad at my grandpa that moved my mom to to Mexico. Did he ever say some (laughs) shit like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. All right, I'm leaving, much. but don't steal anything. Like, I just got to go outside. Don't fucking steal anything. There at the end, he just refused to use the bathroom inside. So <laughs> what? He would just, like, leave the house and go to behind go the piss? shed. Yeah, and just... That's where he pissed. He Why? Because he had Alzheimer's, and he was fucking losing oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he that thought was I was like a his... little... Like, two different people a lot. Right. Oh, well, that's... Di- <laughs> okay, if he had Alzheimer's, that's hilarious. I mean... Well, it's it, not funny. Do you think that peace spot Mike, was like a safe space? where That's where shit got clear? Maybe, like, yeah. fuck the toilet. I got to go out here and figure shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I pee by this shit, I remember things. <laughs> it's possible. Who knows? Wow. Hopefully, I don't get that bad. Yeah, that right? would be not ideal. I, hear, I, I heard, uh, I watched this documentary once. It said, um, and it was the whole premise of it was, this dude was testing out, um, people with alzheimer's disease giving them putting headphones on and playing the music from their childhood oh, yeah, I saw and, that. and it would like trigger memories yeah. which was really well, they started smiling when they haven't yeah, smiled they started in like smi- years yes yeah. exactly yeah shit and makes me it's cry. pretty interesting to me, dude <laughs> that shit's awesome yeah. dude like That's how i feel when i hear kid rock man it's like <laughs> fucking, bow, oh bow, bow, bang to bang diggy this, diggy that makes so much sense <laughs> Oh, my dad like oh my, my dad loves Kid Rock. Your uncle looks like he would too. 
Yeah. Me and my dad were having yeah, a conversation. Yeah, your dad and your uncle look a lot alike. Yeah, yeah they do. all the Nystrom men look exactly the same. Really? What's your mom look like? like? Tom, the same? Tom Does your Cruise-y's. mom look the same as your dad? <laughs> yeah, she looks, looks exactly like, like Brian. <laughs> Does she have short hair? Yeah. Yes! Yep. She, she used to have long hair, and then it went away and never came back. <laughs> I think it's like down to here now. Like your dad. Yeah. What? <laughs> I think it's down to here now. Uh, my okay. dad had a permed mullet. Yeah. <laughs> what? Did he? That sounds like yeah. Everybody the fanciest in, redneck move I've ever heard. <laughs> definitely exactly that 100%. Everybody in Bloomfield, New Mexico had a mullet. And Phil's dad Nailed it. took it to the next, next His, level. My grandparents wouldn't let him have a mullet unless it was permed. It, you nailed it right on the head. It was the classiest redneck thing you could do. Okay. That was a weird thing for your grandparents to say. They're like, right here, we'll make him feel like a girl. <laughs> well, if you want to get a perv, and he was just like walked in all. He was fucking cool. Movie star. Oh my God, dude. His, he was like Michael Kelso in that 70s show. Ah, that was yes. how my dad was. <laughs> really? Your dad's the nicest fucking He's guy ever. He's the coolest ever. dude ever. He's so cool, man. Hey, he bought me a pocket pussy. Nice oh, yeah. <laughs> Unsolicited, right? <laughs> well, we we discussed it. Oh, you did discuss no, it. Yeah, but he, still, either he way. wasn't like surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I imagined, dude. Here you go. I was thinking of you. <laughs> he he gave it to me in the fucking parking lot. <laughs> he gave one to you too. No, I was Your giving son. it. To, I no, was Phil giving was it the to middle man between. Oh, he okay, couldn't. I already had one. He couldn't deliver it. Yeah. He was embarrassed to deliver. No, it. he just he was tired of driving around with it in oh. his truck. <laughs> And I drove around with it for a while in my truck. Just got warm. <laughs> Just like waiting for Brian to fuck oh this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for Brian to fuck this thing. I think I've fucked it three or four times. Oh my god. Hopefully it's my definitely life. better than just jerking off with your hands. Yeah, it's if just, you're willing to like clean it, yeah, it's a night. <laughs> it's a night project for sure. It's a night project. You got to be alone. <laughs> have 45 a, minutes minimum. Yeah, put oh, a towel down. Fuck that. Things get messy. I'm just. It's probably. I don't know. I fucked it in the shower once. Just kind of cleaned it out <laughs> in the shower. Put it. I have a pocket curtain, so I just dropped it in one of the pockets. <laughs> Perfect. Pocket, 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 pocket my pussy in the pocket, pocket curtain. curtain. Walked out. Yeah, like a pimp. And then you just forget yeah. about it. I, I hope in once. my life. No, I, I, I left mine in the shower once and forgot about it. And Goel found it. Yeah, she was cool. I, she <laughs> yeah. didn't say anything about it. She was just like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. In my life, I've never seen one. No? I don't want one. I've been weird curious for a long time, and I got a free one. I was like, you know what? <laughs> you I'm going to fuck one. this thing. If there's one in your head. house, you're probably going to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> one yeah. night, you're going to be drunk yeah, and alone. Drunk. And horny yeah, night, no doubt about sleep. it. No, I'm not debating that. Yeah, I just you just got to see like a super hot is. girl scrolling through Instagram. Get it like a half <laughs> chub. <and> like... <laughs> Well, there is that pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Phil's dad bought me a pocket boogie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was your mom bought me one. Oh. oh. Yeah. How's she doing in Houston? She's actually in England right now. Well, then fuck. Yeah. She's on a classy cruise. Really? Fun fact. That's mm-hmm. also her maiden name. It, yeah, it is. England? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my grandpa England was the one that called me a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That's even funnier, dude. He hates. Uh, he thought he was old school, but he was fucking old school. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my god, Grandpa England thinks you're Mexican. Yeah, she's on a cruise <laughs> from like England to Scotland and Ireland. With and who? With my stepdad. Oh, okay. That's mm-hmm. badass. And my Is uncle. she feeling better? Or? Mm-hmm. I. I or, she, wasn't yeah. she like sick or something? She before? she has MS, so oh, she has oh, up, okay. ups and downs. Like but she's in days. a good phase yeah, right yeah. now. She's okay. Good. Doesn't seem to be like progressing or getting worse. Yeah, it's just kind of the symptoms that. that she has are just there. She, okay. It sucks. She's in a lot of pain. So just con- constantly, to, constantly, right? Yeah, her whole right side just feels like it's on fire, and like Did pins you tell and her needles. About and she has a little bit. She has. She really has a hard time getting off fentanyl and Percocets. Like, it's really helpful, for sure. But she's on oh, so much, uh, so many other things. Yeah, like she takes a cocktail but, every but morning. But she probably just thinks she can't change it, but she for can. Sure. I mean, she could literally start substituting yeah. kratom for all those painkillers. I think at this point, it's just there's so much rebound pain. Like, it I mean, would be so sure. hard for her to get off because she's 
She's been, you know, how on. old is she? She's f- almost fifty. Oh, that's not that old. Yeah, yeah she could switch to crowd and and, yeah. and have it a good just, last half. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be hard to. Get, I think it would be hard to get her to you completely so? get off yeah. of everything. For yeah. sure. But I mean, well, baby steps also. And she's for she's sure. ever since she's been to Houston, like her doctor seems to be care care about her more and trying to get her off, like lowering her dose of fentanyl. Good. Yeah, and fentanyl's dangerous as fuck. Dude. Definitely. And she she goes right with the recommended dosage. So she's never like She's not abusing. Fentanyl gets bad when people are abusing it. Oh, you know, yeah. If you take the patch that your doctor prescribes you, you're fine. But it's when people are people that don't have a tolerance take the patch yeah, that they, your doctor described you and then they they dilute it I, in water I, I and, and then shoot it and like that's yeah. Oh, it's just dangerous, man. Yeah. I didn't even shoot it, dude. But one time we took a patch. I took. This is so fucked up because this girl came and picked me up from this place called Douglasville, Georgia, which is on the other side of Atlanta. But we met some. And we worked together or something. And she was a fuck. She was a junkie, and I was a junkie, and so we just made friends. And she came and picked me up, and we went back to her house. And um, what we would do is take the fentanyl patches and like scoop the gel out put it on aluminum foil and then freebase it Whew. and i fucking we, it was three of us her and her friend and me on the couch and i fucking just like was hitting this shit and hitting it and then i fucking uh collapsed to the floor and I pa- bet, passed Jesus out Christ, I overdosed. That shit is, yeah i overdosed and i came to like five minutes later and they're just all like like just smoking, like not even a care in the world. It's like I didn't do. It's like I mean, nobody was even checking on you. Yeah, nothing. No, nope. I didn't wake up to anybody like trying to shake. Nothing like that. They were just on the couch. And actually, the other time I overdosed, I came to, and um, that time I had just been really drunk, and then I, I drove drunk into the bluffs and got some some dope came back and it shot up first it was me and my friend and i shot up first because i bought it and then i immediately collapsed and fell to the floor again and i was out for like five ten minutes and when i came to the dude that i was with was shooting up the shit that i had just bought and i can't get into the whole story now but then he overdosed and i saved his life jesus yeah it was fucked up it was really fucked up. But so both times that I OD'd in my life, and luckily it wasn't dead, a deadly OD. Like I came back. But nobody gave a shit. But n- none of the times. Like there's three different people between the two incidents that just continue just to get high. That's, that's, yeah, that's powerful. It's fucked up, dude. That's something. That is fucked up, dude. It's a dark thing. I can't believe I was, yeah. Like looking back on it now, I'm like, I don't know how... Have I'm I ever glad, got that I'm far? I'm glad I just I dabbled with the recreational side of it. I never got to that point. Yeah, it's... To where I was with... Most everybody I was hanging out with, they were mostly addicted friends. to pills, but they weren't, like, junkies. Like, they, that yeah, mentality yet right. to where, like, they'll fuck me over for getting for sure. the next hit. And, like, those people probably would have... Maybe. Oh, I don't for know. Sure. Them, no, but, like, no, you get 100% at the deep time. down into that whole... And yeah, you know, I definitely was getting to the point where I was looking at people's fucking cabinets and shit for opiates, you know, and that's when I started like, that's when I was like, okay, this is starting to be, and yeah, I would just, I don't know. The Xanax Xanax was bad. Xanax spurs it it on because it just makes you want everything. Yeah. You're insatiable when you take Xanax, like Everything that you want to consume, you can consume a thousand of. And that's why so many people overdose when they're taking Xanax, yeah, too. That's, I would just drink and do Xanax and then black Fuck. out and just like and bl- not yeah. even know why. And you're not actually blacked out. You're going around doing you're things. You're doing shit, but you don't know what you, <laughs> you did. You just wake, wake up uh-huh. and you're like, I lost two days. You I don't even it. know what the fuck happened. Yeah. You like wake up feeling guilty because you know you did something, but you fucking have no idea what. Yeah. That's <laughs> It's awful, man. It's not a good sign. It's not a good <laughs> sign. You're, I'm, you're lucky you don't like that shit. He dabbled in my dabbling. Just a little, but I feel like a lot of like the real drug experimenting that Phil did, or a portion of it was while I was on probation. 
and at the so lake there was a lot so. of thing and or at the lake so there was a lot of times i just wasn't with them or i just couldn't do drugs you know? right well that's yeah it's a plus that's the man. occasional green light weekend when yeah. shit got weird <laughs> <laughs> shit got like, real weird what do you guys usually do on green light weekend Drug whatever wise. we could get yeah really whatever you one, could get and then always was, always uh, weed and alcohol too oh yeah probably i assume yeah, yeah. always uh, those are the staples yeah you gotta have weed and alcohol. One, any good weekend. <laughs> one weekend was a bunch of Kalanapin, a, a couple box Oof. of whippets, and a gallon of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> there was weed there too, and a bunch of weed. Fucking yeah. whippets. It was always weed. That was That's, a weird. That was a weird high. Weird night. W- whippets, vodka, and Kalanapin. I'm surprised at how much of that <laughs> night I remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised too, dude. I was a, I was a, a prescribed those for a while and. Oh, and I thought I, you meant whippets. No. <laughs> I was no. like, who's your doctor? No. I'm just taking I'm actually, my medicine. <laughs> I've only done minimal whippets, but I've at least done them to where I know what they're like and it's hilarious. And But no, but Klonopin, and sometimes if I took too many, it's, just, it's the same as Annex. I mean, it's, it's, it just, it's a lazopram. It's it the same active ingredient. It lasts ingredient. longer, but it just takes longer to kick in. But you can still black out easy. For sure. It, it's a know? benzo. It's yeah, the same exactly. Thing. They, all, they just all act but, a little differently. Sure. But... Yeah, because it's, that's a, it's like, like kind of like Xanax doctors, light, yeah. right, would you say? Yeah, but it can be, I don't know, everybody reacts a you little differently. You can take like a bunch Xanax, of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. But you don't have to, and if you take the prescribed dosage, it's probably like... Valium Valium's more uh, like Xanax light. Klonopin's like in between. Okay, <laughs> I agree with that, yeah. Because it's more than Xanax it, light. It lasts a little longer, it has a longer half-life xanax just i kicks was a in zombie faster. man i took that shit for six months and i quit it cold turkey yeah, yeah. i got sick that's the one that if you stop cold turkey and you're real addicted it fucking kill you it's I, like alcohol I, I know xanax and alcohol are the only two yeah. or like or colonopin and alcohol are the only two things that you can die from the withdrawals apparently like about you heroin f- you can't no really? you'll feel like you're gonna die but you won't really nope yeah. you can't Ooh, I might try heroin <laughs> <laughs> just kidding just try it for like two Three years, two or three years, and then and then, and then stop, and then right. you'll you'll get that withdrawal, some, you'll get that healthy <laughs> withdrawal experience. Start comedy again. He'll have some stories. <laughs> oh shit! I think that's what happened to Chris, dude. I hope he's all right. Me too. <laughs> he just <laughs> ran off at the circus. I, yeah. I was surprised to see him with the fe- at the fest though. I know he showed up. I didn't think he was going to. Dude, I- he looked way better than he has when he showed up. For dude, sure, he showed up one time in a white T-shirt to the theater, just like. Fucked up. Stained like, to the gills. Gnarly yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Like, I like, remember. You didn't have a jacket, mother... Like, anything to cover? Dude, no. God. He's hilarious. Like, he's just I would uncon- gladly <laughs> bring a big-ass shirt that I have in my closet if you just ask. You know, yeah. put it out there. Yo, I need a shirt to wear tonight. No Hook doubt. It up. Yeah. That's all you gotta do, man. And he's... No closet under the bridge. He's whatever. really not too shy to ask. That's why I love Chris, man. Yeah. Because he's not too shy to ask you like, if he needs something. Like, he asked me literally a few times, like, if, if I just had some food, I could give him. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I yeah, come over. And you work but, at a restaurant. But then, like, if I tell him, no, sorry, I don't, he's like, okay, no problem. And he's never, so, like, he, like. Never took it personally nev- if you couldn't He didn't help, take it personally yeah. if I couldn't help out. And. He fucking never, like when I did help out, he never like uh, gave him an inch, gave him an inch, took a mile type of thing. Right, like right. he never tried to take advantage of always my kindness. Respect. He was very respectful, all always. Yeah, not with his words, but with his yeah. No, like he'll actions. post the most <laughs> awful things on Facebook that even I'm like, God, you should have said that. I kind of wish he wouldn't have left, man. But he's not. He's a good guy. You remember Swamp Man Frankie out at the lake that know, lived, in, huh? I don't know. You don't remember him? He lived in the he lived in a tent. Oh like, yeah, in the cove. Totally. I and totally he was like, remember that. <laughs> man, Frankie. He oh, he SMF. called himself that. Just every Swamp summer, Man Frankie. He went and set up. Hi, the how you doing? I'm Swamp Man. Yeah. Frankie. Every summer he would just live in this little cove by the marina. <clears throat> in He'd a come tent. tell us some crazy ass stories. Was too. he old? Fuck yeah. 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 Super old. No, and he, would, he was gonna die. He had all <laughs> rough. He fuck. He's probably not alive for sure <laughs> he he finally left and like was gonna go see his family in pennsylvania or something and took off to albuquerque our friends drove him down there and yeah i don't know i he had a rough life man fucking rough 
They they told you a bunch of stories yeah. and shit. Lots of child abuse. Yeah, when you were walking, Where's he from? Like that. I think Pennsylvania somewhere. Oh, okay. I think that's what he said. Uh, when you were walking down like the fucking what's the word I'm looking for? The walkway. The walkway at the marina. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. When you were walking down the walkway, when you saw him, you were just like, all right, let's fucking do this. Because every time he'd be like, hey, like, if he, he was kind of the same way. Was like, he like uh, very super- like uh, energetic and extroverted or was he more he to was, himself? He but, was definitely but, to himself to like the tourists and stuff that were walking around. Yeah. <clears> yeah. All the employees. Of he pretty Marina. much just came down there to sit in the shade and because it was fucking hot in the cove. Yeah. Sitting in his tent. So. Nobody team. would run him away. He would just sit out there and talk to people. And he was nice, yeah. but I mean, he had like sores all over his arms. Uh, and was like, he, was he uh, doing drugs? For sh- probably. I think I mean, he used the sores. He I mean, used to do drugs for sure. But I mean, I sold does, him weed. But he used to. <laughs> yeah, I sold him a lot of weed, but he never asked me for anything else. Okay. I think he used to. I think he had like diabetes and like other problems i don't know he might it might have just been a gnarly staph infection sure he just lives in a fucking cove at the lake and he's a swamp man that's where you get staph yeah for sure if you don't get (laughs) it was a cut that got infected and like you don't go to the doctor at all sleeps in a tent yeah it was pretty his tent might still be up there he just left it <laughs> He's like, I want you guys to have my tent. I'm like, I'm going nowhere near that fucking tent. Just, oh my god! I'm sorry. Semen. Thanks, man. I'll take your tent. I didn't fucking semen. For sure, dude. A man that lives in a tent masturbates at a tent. Let's sewer semen, Frank. I would. Yeah. You. But where what? do you wash your wa- your pocket pussy? In the lake. In the lake. <laughs> First thing in the morning. <laughs> Get some, get some fuck, catch a bass. <laughs> Shitter's full. <laughs> catch a bass, clean it with the bass, <clears throat> and then it'll smell right. Mm, gross. That is <laughs> gross. It's disgusting. You're a married man. <laughs> <laughs> the most misogynistic thing I've ever heard. Whatever. No, it's not. It just definitely kidding. does kind no, of smell fishy. Yeah, sometimes. It's Dude. not as bad as like a dead trout. Dude, I haven't experienced <laughs> that. I had this conversation with someone the other day. I haven't experienced like a bad smelling pussy since I was like in a teenager, but I remember it and mm-hmm. it is disgusting. It's like yeah, the there's only been a few. Off a shampoo and like, get it in your hole. Luckily, <laughs> when you get you older, well, luckily when you get older, women start like. Taking, taking care, care of themselves. <laughs> yes, exactly. The hormones probably aren't as intense. So I haven't had to smell that in a long time, but it is the worst, man. That, uh, yeah. If that you, stanky, You start fishy, fucking early oh. with some immature-ass bitch that doesn't <laughs> shower enough or whatever. It's rough. Fuck yeah, dude. Misogynist in the house. Second guessing. <laughs> we thought you might have... Uh, was that a butthole? Uh-huh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yes. Not a good sign. Uh, it's a little bit of uh, butthole. Uh, well, it's the worst. Yeah. I've, so, I've definitely got you, some of some of the, the girls at the lake that had been, you know, doing lake adventures all day. Yeah. Getting pretty warm and sandy. <laughs> I think that warm had, and a, sandy. had an issue. There probably was some, some butt juice, well, some sweat. Better than if they're runners. Well, they were running around at the lake. <laughs> Wakeboarding, you know. That's you get pretty running, wet. That's waking. Yeah. A few, few enemas. Yeah. You'd think it would be... This is gross. Yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> Who the fuck Spring. are we to but talk it, about vaginas and female buttholes? Dude, we're people on the earth that have to eat that shit. Exactly. My so, my asshole. I think we have a good. Nobody opinion. gives a shit if girls talk about dicks. My yeah. asshole and balls about pussy. reek yeah. after a day of oh, Well, fun. now they can understand. But yeah, shit. my asshole and balls also oh, reek after a day of anything. I got. Oh, whatever. That's it's been a whole. Some professional. That's all. I know. I'm Your just phone's kidding. dinged like fifteen times. <laughs> no, that's why I said that. Uh, that's why I said I'm that. I'm a piece of shit. Uh, yeah, you are. I was cutting wood all <laughs> Thanks, day. Don't man. say that. Don't say that, dude. I feel like I, every podcast I do with Phil, I have to tell him not to call himself a piece of shit at least once. Stop it. Yeah, we usually have to. Tell and you each just other let him say, it and you're like, "Yeah, you're probably right." Yeah, he is a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's funnier? Your best friend. Sometimes the joke takes precedence over matters. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. That's what podcasts Ab- are. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Man. 
Me and Phil. Yeah, it's funny. It's it's like, like probably Phil cries couple... himself to sleep at night. It's all right. Because <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna okay, guilt trip us now? Too, I should have saw the signs. You're gonna <laughs> guilt trip us now? It ain't gonna work. All right, let's talk shit about Dave. Just, mm. Hit me. I got nothing. I've when tried I'm to on the spot, I'm so many times. It's got to be natural. It does. It kind of just has Here to in come a little out. Bit, I'll, I'll find something. Yeah. We'll One see. of my favorite parts of El Rancho is like in between when comics are up, you come up to me and you're like, "Hey, I'm gonna say this," <laughs> just like. Sometimes it's funnier than others, but usually yeah. I'm like, I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's cool. Thank you. I take, that as a, I take that as a compliment. Yeah, you just come up, you're like, yo, I got a roast. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes you change it. Like, there's some comics Well, because come what like I do is times. I come to you and I tell you, and then I tell Justin, and sometimes Justin gives me a good note, and so that's why... You like when the I, average of when, the reactions. Yeah, and so it's a little <laughs> bit different than from when I ran it by him, but it's really just you and Justin I run, I run them by because I'm like... I mean, I've just never had anybody to run them by, so I always right. just went with them. I like it when it's when you do it because every time I'm just like, all right, when's this fucking comic gonna be over so I can hear what Dave's actually gonna say? <laughs> yeah. Especially when you like have a couple of them, I'm just yeah. all right, oh, yeah. bring it. Hell yeah, I love that aspect of of comedy, man. I mean, roast battle is one of my favorite shows to watch. Like, I I, I want to get good at roasting eventually. I mean, like, I'm not terrible. But I definitely am still only, what, a year and a half in. I'm not a fucking... I'm a baby still. <laughs> but that's, like, what I fucking love is roast. Because, like, there's something about it that's complimentary and insulting <laughs> at the same time. And I, I love that because that's perfect for me. That's how... That's me. Like, I'm insulting and complimentary at the same time in pretty much every aspect of my life. And comics want to be talked about. Positive, negative, whatever. Just but say I, something about me. Right, right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've had some comics get a little butt hurt. But it's hilarious when they do to me. Like, I don't do. care. I just, I think it's funny. A lot of weak bitches. <laughs> I mean, it's just jokes, dude. <laughs> when you and Betsy were talking shit. Oh, that was funny, you on dude. Stage, uh, the, uh, <laughs> yeah. She said something about how she's she, like, who are you? She was like, yeah, I'm in the festival this weekend. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> made me happy she was oh, like oh God. yeah it made me happy too I was like fuck thank god I didn't fuck that up <laughs> cause like half the time you say something it could come out terribly wrong dude like yeah. it, like you could just misspeak like a Especially motherfucker I do it all yeah. the time yeah Usually when I'm starting a story, so everybody's like, fuck this guy. Yeah, and that's the worst time, dude. <laughs> yeah. You can't fuck up at the beginning no, or you else you lose him. everybody. Hook him like a marlin. That's why you got to talk to people. That's my favorite part, like the warming up. Well, that's not my favorite part, but it's so much fun. Like, like you get there up. early, you start talking to the comedians, and you start roasting each other. Start yeah. getting quicker and quicker, and you're like, oh, oh shit, it's going to be a good night. <laughs> yeah, we have a blast. I'm very excited for tomorrow night. Man. Me too. I'm excited for tonight. You going to go to the roost or what? Let's I'll go, go sing some jokes. I'll go. I, I I haven't, man, I've been slacking, like I said earlier. That's cool. Like, I haven't written anything, I mean, since last week where I showed you all those. Yeah, say that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. At the ranch Just, last week, I went up with like eight premises and I was like, all right, I don't know where this shit's going, but here you go. Yeah. And it went really well. And then I played off the crowd. It was beautiful. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. No, I plan on going with you, man. Cool. Well, I think maybe we should wrap this up, unfortunately. But I come back on again soon, Dave. I gotta Why call my dad. Uh, just because this is so fun like it's rare that we're two hours into a podcast and i'm like oh but we have to wrap it up you guys got shit to do well we're gonna go to the roost and we got to get this all done so i can oh shit it's six o'clock okay all right yeah word right yeah let's go to the roost so what do you want to promote every thursday at the ranch that's it hosted by dave oakley that's it i'll download the uh durango is funny comedy comedy album. album on available on itunes and all fucking 
everything i think yeah dave's on that we were there for the recording it was fucking awesome sean mo was with us yeah sean mo yeah he we told all me had he listened flannel to my shirts shit. on yeah flannel, Did y'all? Uh, long sleeve shirts that looked funny it was like shit. big medium small it was so bright up there <laughs> like one of those russian dolls that you yeah. put inside of each other nesting dolls <laughs> the, yeah nesting dolls right lumber nesting <laughs> dolls yep. right you want to tell them where to find us phil glw underscore podcast on instagram green light weekend on youtube and facebook and greenlightweekend at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dave Oakley, for coming on. Dude, thanks, guys, for hitting me up. Thank you, guys, for Anytime. listening. We love you guys. Peace. Flipping through the pages of a notebook. Don't put old school shit. Get your dome shook. No luck. Oh, yeah, can you feel what I'm saying? Rhyme slanging, uh huh. Beat banging from the pavement to the backwoods. Put your hands down if you're trying to act good. I don't care about your steez or how you be swagging. Punks moving backwards, I'm sitting back laughing, laughing. Like, what happened to the real? I be with that hip hop plus a hot meal. Saying, This is why you ain't. This is why you ain't. This is why, this is why you never will be great. Man, come on, for goodness sake, never have to brag or boast. My verses do the walking and you talking like a joke. Tat it on your throat well i think your ink swag i'm shitting on you bitches yeah this my stink rap rock a bright pink cap and some lime green pants yeah. smack your mama's yeah. ass what yeah. you think about that yo i'ma bring it back with a cool 32 Hustle some lava lyrics dropping right on top your crew it's going to erupt like it's about to blow i don't give a fuck y'all already know i'm running for my life that's right i'm motivated won't stop till i'm on top elevated you're gonna do it son my mama be telling me Stay away from drugs and don't be catching felonies Nah, never, nah, just never, for the record nah, Ma, I'd rather sell a record And you know that I've always loved being under pressure Yeah, I get that money talking Saying be patient Big money, honey, opportunity creating It's so basic Bring it to your faces Ain't no way I'll ever let nobody tell me that I ain't sick Not a challenge that I couldn't hang with your test to rest, guarantee you I will ace it, haters still hating, people still painting, wanna hear this shit, bang on every block and every base. speaking of the devil, get up on my level, we on the base in trouble, we gon' do this shit forever, and them homies need to step up, I don't think that they could catch up, we mash them like tomatoes, good on pretty much whatever, honestly I'm in no need of any extra flavor, any time of day I get poppin' like bacon, what you thinking? We munching every beat. Got the bounce down version playing in the back seat. Let me put it this way. Loving this life. Get up on stage, drum bass, one mic. Every night, new place. Same name on the dough. You rushing to the show, fighting for the front row. Yo, I don't give a hoe. Anything too nice. Nintendo 6 4 Got the game up in the vice. That's right, you bitch. You ain't playing like this. That's a bet. And I'm betting that I strike rich, pot they go tight shit. I'm point five five rich, dark brown iris and long eyelash shits. Man, I'm so damn handsome. Young buck spaniel, girls hanging around my neck like backstage lanyards. That's them with bastard, I'm killing all of them bastards. But thinking trip ain't the master. Just go lie down in the pasture, call up your pastor and ask him what's going to happen after. Swing, swing, better, better. You cannot defeat my chatter, get it? Hey, better, better. Tell me why you playing little league? If you still can't see them, maybe you should be climbing trees. I'm number one, came straight out of 91 Having fun, spitting like puns Alright, I'm done